We are in the trenches of spooky season. It's upon us. DGOT The Games, we're back with another fun one. Brian has his first ever game yes, idea. Sir. What are we doing, brother? Well, basically just stole your idea from last week and tweaked it a little <laughs> bit. But uh, we're going to rank, we're going to go around the horn just like we did in last week's game. I don't know if you guys watched it or not, but we're going to rank uh, total 31 movies for Halloween. But we're going to rank movies that we feel like are the scariest now, whether or, or that scared us. Now, whether that meant as a child or whether that means now, uh, I'm sure everybody's got some uh, ideas one way or the other or, or precursors for everything. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. What order you want to go in? Uh, I will go, let's go in order of here. Let's go. Mike, Dustin, Nico, me. I gotta be real. I want somebody else to go first. I can see what the fuck we're doing. I wasn't here last week. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Dustin, Mike, Nico, me. Okay. So right off the bat, this movie I didn't see it until I was an adult. Hell, it didn't come out until I was an adult, but it scared, it scared me. I'm not afraid to say it. Paranormal Activity, the first one. It just it freaked me out, man. Yep, that was my number one, by the way, as well. All right, so I really tried to rack my brain around a movie I found uh, scary as an adult. So I had like a little bit of a list, but like I really, again, I came into horror late, so I didn't see a yeah. ton of these movies as a kid. So it was really hard to kind of find some balance. Not to give you guys a deposition of my life or anything, but I went with the one film that truly scared me for two weeks because I was too young. I should not have seen it, and I wasn't a fan of horror movies at the time. Y'all are going to be like, what the fuck? But this is on my list. Give me the sixth sense. Okay. Buddy, little eight-year-old Michael was scared as fuck of the sixth sense. Did you say 28-year-old Michael? No, sir. I'm 32. <laughs> well, you might have been scared about it five years ago. Not now. Yeah, know. you're right. That's six. All right, so I, I'm next. Okay. Like you mentioned, Brian, at the beginning, I did break down my list by kid, teenager, and since doing the podcast. So I'm glad okay. you kind of brought that up. I'm going to start off with something that scared me as a kid. I mentioned it during our review, WCW Nitro. This motherfucker popped up out of nowhere. Bride of Chucky. Right. Like, I was terrified of Chucky as a kid. <laughs> And I'll say those four, not six. I can't do math. Anyway, go ahead, Brian. You said you said six, and I said three. So we were <laughs> way fucking. We were both off. <laughs> I had no guess. I hate math. Uh, okay. Well, my the the only movie that I can think of as an adult that like legitimately very much so scared me was Paranormal Activity One. Dustin mentioned that. The other movie that absolutely scared me as well. As an adult, it's Paranormal Activity 2. Okay. That's a good one. Uh, I'm going to go with the movie that freaked me out as a young. And it actually, it didn't really scare me as much as it scared my little sister. And seeing her terror amused me. The Ring. <laughs> the Ring. The Ring. Great answer. Uh, <laughs> again, this was pretty difficult for me. But I do remember, and this is weird because it would not scare me now. So whenever we do this film, if we ever do this film, which I'm sure we will, uh, it's not going to scare me. I'm probably going to laugh. But I saw Salem's Lot as a kid and about shit my pants and I cried. So that's my that's my story for Salem's Lot. Has anyone checked out the new one? Nope. Not yet. Either. I haven't seen either of them. All right. This movie legitimately did scare me. This is one we did for the podcast. That's why I picked it. Uh, Autopsy of Jane Doe. That was All on right. my list, you asshole. And I'm not calling you an asshole for picking it uh, right here. I'm calling you an asshole for making me watch it. You're welcome. <laughs> um, all right, since everybody's kind of doing kids thing, the first movie that ever really scared me as a kid, there's two of them. First one, the original Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay. None of mine have been picked so far, except for Nico took one that was further down on my list. So we're in good shape here. My top three still available. We just interviewed Michael C. Williams. I'm not going to lie. I said it on that interview. The Blair Witch Project freaked me out. Good I was uh, nine years old. Same. Rented that movie with my friend. We rented that and The Water Boy. We watched The Water Boy, then The Blair Witch Project, and then had to watch The Water Boy three more times that night before we could go to sleep. 
It's a lot of water, boy. <laughs> I just I just made that clip to post on socials. No joke. <laughs> uh, man, well, well, Mama said the scariest movie that we've done on this show as adults is clearly Army of the Dead. No, I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Brian picked that. <laughs> Brian did indeed pick that. Um, I hate you guys. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, actually, your assassin was also on my solid little too young list. Uh, the last one I have there is actually, I don't know if this counts because technically not a movie, but it's Stephen King's miniseries of It. Mm. That counts. Yeah. We'll count it. <sighs> Buddy. <laughs> I was a goo goo gag guy over that. Not that kind of crying, but I was wah. All right, I'm going to go to my teenage years, high school. I saw this movie in the theaters by myself, The Strangers. Yeah, that's a good one. That's on my list further down as well. Um, okay, well, as an adult, and when I say scared now, it's to the point, like, it just the subject matter really bothers me a lot, and uh, that was nefarious. I understand. All right, I'm going to go with another movie that just unnerves me to this day when I pull in my driveway and I see a fucking rabbit in my yard. <laughs> took my one, took my pick. <laughs> the Witch. The Witch. The Witch. Witch. Okay, that was, no, that's good. So one of the, and I said it when we did the, the show, one of the very few movies I've seen as an adult that actually left me feeling uneasy. Um, and I, like, Again, I told the experience on the show. I went and saw it with my cousin Vinny and Taylor. Shout out to them. Uh, Hereditary is also on my list. That man, I've never, I haven't felt uneasy leaving the theater as an adult ever until I saw I that felt, movie. I felt giddy when I watched this one scene in that movie. Uh huh. I know, buddy. Me too. Now, Indeed. now that I, now that I'm a little past it, you know, it still can make me feel a little bit ugh, if I watch it. All right, I'm going to do a repeat. One we did last week as well for Halloween. Me and Dustin did an instant reaction on this one. I was legitimately scared watching this one. I got to go with Oddity. It was terrifying in the theaters. Great jump scares. So I just, yeah, I just one. probably ten minutes ago got done watching that, and that was my thought was I have not had jump scares that scared me like that one. I don't know ever. That yeah. has some fucking scary jump scares in it, no yeah. doubt. And that was actually, I put that on my list too. Um, as a kid, I'm going to go with my other one. As a kid, the original Exorcist freaked me the hell out. I watched that way too early in my life. Okay. I'm going to go with a movie that listeners are going to hear us talk about a lot soon. Didn't scare me at all in theaters. I thought it was overhyped. But by God, this recent rewatch of Long Legs. When I see on my screen, when I see all the okay. devil, goat devils in the background, the shadows that I didn't see yeah. in the theater, fucked with me, man. Long legs. No, I think that's a great pick. I'm glad we're about to review it because I have some thoughts about the feeling again. I, mean, I almost put it here for me. Uh, I'm going to go with a movie that the, this kind of movie normally wouldn't scare me, but I thought it was the first one of the kind that I actually went back and watched. Um, and I actually probably saw it right after I got out, like, Right in that time period after I saw Rob Zombie's Halloween and fell in love with horror, I went with The Ring, the American one, because I I didn't watch we, Ringu. We've, we've that, already that, said that, that one, Mike. That's great, buddy. That's a great pick. I picked that the second. fucking miss it, you sons of bitches. <laughs> you can Sorry. go with the Japanese version if you'd like. No, no, I don't. Well, no, it kind of. <laughs> no, it's not. Sorry, but no. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'll go down my list further. Yeah, another movie. Not when I, I won't say I saw it too young, but I do remember seeing flashes of it as a kid and then watching it full as an adult. Still made me feel uneasy the very first time I saw it. That would be The Shining. Okay. Yeah, my dad had it on when I was a kid one time, and I'm like, ah, I ran for the hills, man. All right, I'm going to go with, I got a list here. I'm going to go with, you're probably going to think I'm crazy for this, but the first time that I watched Insidious, I was scared. Hmm. Because of Lynch, eh? No. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, she catches way too many strays. <clears throat> she does. <laughs> Unnecessary. A friend right, of the show, movie, Lynch, eh? Friend of the show. Great, lovely woman, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. 
she or she this movie this movie messed with me probably about almost a decade ago now um it's a korean film i don't know if it would if i watched it nowadays i, I don't even know if i remember a whole lot about it but uh it's 2016's the wailing mm. I've the movie was a it. very freaky ass movie and that was i saw it years ago I want oh, you to pick that one. one day because I've never heard of it. So, yeah. no. Nope. All right. I'm going with another one that we recently reviewed or that I hadn't seen until we reviewed it. But you won't catch me in the French catacombs. I'll tell you that much. As, as above, whole below. As above, so <laughs> below on my list. Oh, that fuck, man. That fucking gif that Nico likes to send out of the crazy batshit cult lady in the caves. Nope. Don't like that. Why are you sending, sending out peanut seconds. butter? That's peanut butter pictures. That's weird. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing with it, but... Also, went almost straight to this film after seeing the Rob Zombie Halloween. One of the first ones I picked up is like, all right, let's start my trek into horror. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003. Scared the fucking piss out of me the first time I saw it. At night, by myself, wasn't in, quite into horror just yet. Holy hell, man. No, that's, a, that's a good answer. I remember a lot of my friends in high school said that one scared them too. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with – this was actually a backup in case it got picked or I ran out of picks. Just the movie itself really isn't scary, but the possible reality is scary. I'm going to go with Hostel. Oh, yeah. No, that's a yeah. great pick. Jesus. That was that was in consideration for me as well. Because I'm going to um, Okay. Oh, Go sorry. Ahead. I was going to say, your <laughs> European women could lure me into some fucked up situations, too. So. <laughs> um, okay, I am uh, going to pick one that bothered me as a kid. I'm going to go The Ring. I don't know if that's... <laughs> ah, suck my dick. Asshole. Better than pick an army of the dead for the show. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love it. Wow, I didn't great, do that. Great pick, Brian. Okay. Right, right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So this is just a different, a different way of scaring me. Um, whenever we picked it for the show, it had been a long time since I watched <sighs> it, but it made me feel very claustrophobic is the descent. Mm. Oh, great uh, answer. I didn't even think about that. Pick. That's a great answer. I was scared to tell you my yeah, score. Yeah, that yeah. Movie. yeah, you <laughs> were. Yeah, you were. <laughs> uh, next one for me. Listen, I don't know if you picked up on this, but my list, what scares me is pretty much like satanic stuff and demon possession and stuff. Same. So I told the story when we reviewed this movie, The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Oh, Go man, listen to that I, episode if you want to hear my story. I had that, that here. Rough with me. Okay, I had that here. Uh, God, good. Yeah, what list would I be participating in if I didn't include this movie? 1978 Halloween. Put that shit on there, brother. Let's get after it. I it get is, it. It was scary the first time I watched it. It's not scary now at all. It's great. But all right, I'm going to pick another repeat from last week. My Halloween picks. This movie did scare me. Uh, I told the story. We had the star on the show. Jeepers Creepers. I was so scared the first time I watched it. Okay. Okay. Um, literally every pick that I had written down is is is. Picked. So I'm kind of going off the cuff now, and this movie I do remember actually scaring me younger. I haven't seen it in probably 20 years, but the original Omen. Mm. Yeah, that was on my list. Yeah. What what number is this? Are we? We're, We're 29. On 29. Yes. Okay. All right, man. I was gonna go with one that scared me as a kid, Children of the Corn. I saw it way too young. I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna do it with another like possession movie that is recent talk to me i'm not gonna do that scariest movie of all fucking time is knock knock because it 100 percent would happen to me <laughs> i knew that was gonna happen all right i know i know my brethren are gonna be proud of me for this pick i already had one a24 film here um i had no choice because again a theater experience that left me feeling uneasy mid somar Cinema. Oops. Elite. Cinema. Elite. Best movie we've said so far. Ooh. Wow. It, it definitely put it put me to sleep. 
So Body, that shit creeped me. The, man, the last 20 minutes of that movie, I don't know how you know why I got feeling a little creeped out. That's all I'm saying. All right. I I got two You're picks. You're the last, last one, Nico. Yep, I got two picks. I'm a, I've already picked one James Wan movie. I'm not going to pick that one. I'm going to pick a movie that I watched actually like just a couple years before we started the pod. I remember watching it at my mom's house. I was like, damn, this movie is good, but it's creepy. Like, this feels realistic. Vacancy. Mm. Pulling up to a creepy hotel. They got it rigged up. That's scary. Yeah. Hey, I get it. I would love to stay in a hotel with hotel with her, though. Um, Whew, same. Good list, guys. Good list. If you kept up with that at home. Or does anyone want to run through the list again? I've everybody? got it. Well, okay. I'll run through it. Run, run through it. The OG and the scariest movie, in my opinion, on this list, Paranormal Activity 1. Uh, number 2, The Sixth Sense. 3, Chucky. 4, Paranormal Activity 2. 5, The Ring. And that's also 10 and 15, I think. Uh, number six, Salem's Lot. Number seven, Autopsy of Jane Doe. Number eight, The OG Nightmare on Elm Street. Number nine, Blair Witch Project. Number 10, the miniseries, the 90s miniseries, It. Number 11, Strangers. Number 12, Nefarious. Number 13, The Vavitch. Number 14, Hereditary. Number 15, Oddity. Number 16, The OG Exorcist. Number 17, Long Legs. Number 18, The Shining. Number 19, Insidious. 20, The Wailing. 21, As Above, Hole Below. Number 22, Chainsaw 20, 2003. Number 23, Hostel. Number 24, The Descent. Number 25, Emily Rose, The Exorcism of. Number 26, Halloween 1978. Number 27, Jeepers, as in Creepers. Number 28, The Omen, The OG. Number 29, Knock Knock, second scariest movie on the list. It number is. 30, Midsommar. And number 31, I didn't write it down and I completely already blanked. What'd you pick, Nico? Uh, vacancy. Vacancy, that's right. Yeah. Not to be confused with No Vacancy, the fake band from School of Rock. Shout out School of Rock. <laughs> Let's rock. Let's rock today. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Let us know in the comments who you think drafted the best list or just go watch all these movies for yourself because they're all good. Catch you next time. The scariest films actually the Phillies lineup. Jason X. Jason, <laughs> Jason X. God damn it.